So one of the questions that I usually get from students regarding PhD admissions in American, Canadian, Australian universities is that they don't have research articles, research papers, review papers, book chapters and that's why they don't feel that their profile is very good. That is a huge misconception. Don't think like that. There is no such requirement for PhD admissions. Of course, it is desirable, right? If everybody wants somebody who has experience of research, if you are a PhD student, abhi banne ja rahe hain, aur usse pehle hi aapke kuch publications hain, that's really, really good. Aapko research ka experience hai, aapko pura publication process ka pata chal jata hai. But that is not a requirement. Most students who apply for PhD admissions, they don't have any book chapters or review articles or research papers. In fact, actually having review articles or book chapters can be a little bit harmful and can act against you. And why is that? Because to publish a review article, first of all, review articles, the genuine review articles, who, which are high quality, top notch review articles, they are only written by experts on invitation. They cannot be sent. They cannot be written and then submitted to journals. Those are not the review articles that are considered really genuine, high quality research articles. And second, book chapters. You have to be really the master of that area for at least five to 10 years just to be able to qualify to write a book chapter. But unfortunately, in many countries, including the developed countries and in India, there are many researchers who have published 20 book chapters, 30 book chapters, right? Just to make sure that their list of publications is increased. That is just shameful and that is why if you associate with them and you have two book chapters or you have two books, right? That can actually work against you. So bottom line is, don't worry about it. Just focus on your credentials. You should have academic credentials in MSc or whatever your degree is. And then you apply with a good statement of purpose, with good letters of recommendation and a good email to a research professor expressing your research interests. And again, I just want to uh, emphasize that I provide guidance regarding all these steps regarding the A to Z from beginning to end of the complete admissions process. So if you are interested in getting my help, let me know and contact me at my number or shoot me a message. I'll be able to help you and I will hopefully be able to guide you to a good university and a top-notch university for your PhD. Take care. Bye-bye.